Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. It's been that kind of, uh, day, if I must say. Uh, gobble gobble indeed, DMK. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even joking. I was supposed to be live two and a half hours ago. Yeah, it's been that kind of day. Uh, oh no, not another turkey. Is that thing choking you? No, chickens choke me, not turkeys. I'm definitely seeing KC art in the future. Yes. Uh, you look very tasty. Thank you, Dan. And thank you, everybody, who stuck with me through my small hissy fits of rage for like 25 minutes trying to fix my chat when all I really had to do was restart the whole damn thing. But the problem is that I restarted about 17 times in the past two hours and all it did was get worse. So I was terrified to try it again. And the simple fact that it couldn't pick up the chat. Eh. Anyway, uh, this actually a hairstyle I think Princess Leia would have. Yes, yes. A little bit of fluff on the back and some, some ooey gooey on the side. I'm still raging and tore a tissue. What? <laughs> uh, anyway, today in America is Thanksgiving. And uh, I did not celebrate Thanksgiving today, not because I am foreboding it, but because I had to work today. It's very difficult when you have to work and celebrate Thanksgiving, and it's very difficult when you have to do that also with COVID. So it's just, eh. So tomorrow is going to be my Thanksgiving. So today was basically just a, a wasted day in humanity for me. And then I tried to stream to bring some joy into my life, and that didn't help either. Uh, so anyway, F work indeed. And uh, again, uh, I've always felt bad for anybody who had to work on a holiday. Uh, I think that they should be, listen, all right, listen, I get it. I understand. Like emergency workers and in, in hospital, it's kind of hard not to. They, they kind of have to be there, but retail shouldn't. Gas stations really shouldn't. Yeah, not really, unless it's for oh, emergency shit. work or something. All right, I get it. You got to travel and stuff, but like, just get your gas beforehand. It's going to be on Thursday. All right, Wednesday, fill up the tank. Get to grandpappy's oh, house. Shit. You'll be all right. But anyway, grocery stores damn sure shouldn't be. You should be shopping beforehand in advance. But that's just me. Yeah, but working on a holiday sucks. It, it Every time it happens, it sucks. I don't know. They should, they should figure out a way around it. Like, no matter where you are in the world, should be a way around working on a holiday. Everybody should have time off. Again, it's kind of hard for the medical and, you know, police force and stuff like that to not have a have that day off, to have that not work that day. But for the most part, the average Joe American blah, blah, blah should have that day off. Nobody needs to go to Taco Bell on Thanksgiving. Just saying, saying. 
Uh, sorry, small little rant. Uh, we were the only freaking grocery store open today. Of course you were. Uh, the stream he did was the stream he released on his job. Bork, bork, bork. What? <laughs> Mies, someone translate what Mies was saying. Uh, I've got lots of gas in my butt. And apparently Killer Cutie does too. Uh, I had to sit in the office for hours and forward one email. That was my work today. I have to work 53 hours for the next five days. Holy crap. Um, I need to go to Taco Bell. Mind your business. I know, Dallas, I know what you post on Instagram. I know damn well you ain't going to no damn Taco Bell. You have like caviar on hand. Oh, now I know. Thank you, Lady Bells. Now I know exactly what Mies was talking about. Basically, it was an F work P stream. So, did you stream, or was it somebody else you're speaking about? Taco. <laughs> and I'm not saying you can't have tacos on Thanksgiving, just not from Taco Bell. Unless you got it the night previously, then it's okay. But anyway, the point is, there should be a way around it. And I didn't want to do it today, and yet I had to. So, tomorrow's going to be my Thanksgiving, and uh, I appreciated everybody's photos on Instagram of their Thanksgiving dinner. I was like, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. What is that? That looks good. That looks good. I'd eat that. I'd never eat that. What? Stop serving that on Thanksgiving. Anyway, so I do that every year regardless. Uh, I hope you have a relaxing day off. Tomorrow will definitely be a good day. Uh, today was just bad all the way around in general. Uh, but DMK, it's good to see you. And what was sad is I bought this entire outfit for this stream alone. Look at this. I got an ugly Thanksgiving sweater. Just for this stream. So it would be damned if I was not going to have a stream tonight. It took two and a half hours to get here. We're going to have some fun, damn it. Everybody smile. Everybody out there smile right now. Get out. I don't care. I don't care. Smile right now. We're going to be the happiest damn Thanksgiving since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Uh, DMK. All right. I hope you have 20,000 of those. Saying roasted like hosted. <laughs> I wonder if a turkey taco would even be good. Oh, yeah. I imagine it was. Little, little, like you got to chew a little harder. Uh, I never knew an ugly Thanksgiving sweater exist. <laughs> well, I'll be. That's why you watch the show. You learn something. Watermelon smash on my turkey head. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, smiles. Yes, right. That's right. Red and everybody else out there put the smiles on there. It's going to be a happy day. It's going to be a happy day. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, this is the weirdest Thanksgiving ever, uh, you know, on planet Earth. It really is. Since the pilgrims invaded and gave smallpox, smallpox blankets to the Indians, this has been the weirdest Thanksgiving since then. That was the worst one. This Now we're here. Uh, hello, is this live? No, this is not live, true villain. Uh, I'm scared smiling. Smile, you bloody bastards. It's right, Tom. It's right. Uh, so yeah. It's just a weird one in general, and I figured, you know, you gotta have the sweater to go with it. Uh, no, this, this is all pre-recorded, villain. This is all pre-recorded. So, uh, just, uh, make sure, make sure you catch the next live stream. That, that's the way to look at it. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for the host. When the pilgrims delivered the PS1 to all the natives... <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> Roasted. Yeah, yeah. Roasted. I mean, when else can you wear this shirt? Like, middle of July? You can't be wearing this shirt in the middle of July. I mean, you can probably wear the turkey hat year-round, but sweaters don't go in July. Hey, I see a chat. Sup, cutie? Let me stuff that turkey. The, stir the turkey and the sturkey is very stuffed right now. I have a large head and a lot of hair. Uh, does a turkey realize it's a jizzy in his butt? <laughs> uh, it actually pre-recorded. We just replied over in the right spots. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah, see, that one was pre pre-planned. Uh, hey, hey, don't tell the secrets. Yeah, don't tell the secrets. Dallas is my new Siri. The Siri Texan. The Dallas Siri. Siri Say Dallas Texan. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you so much for the follow. How did you do that from the past? Who even likes cranberry sauce? It's horrible. I I mean, particularly no. Uh, but I spoke on this last night. Now this 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 isn't a tradition. Like a tradition would mean it would have to happen every single time, right? Um, 
but but tip, typically, uh, I do have a cherry pie on Thanksgiving. Typically, I do. And this year, I don't. And it's not like I have one every year since the you know year I was born. No, it's not. But typically, I try to. And this year, I didn't get one. And so I'm, I'm a little on the sad side. Uh, and I know that I know that the Siri hot Texan. You're not wrong about that. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't have a cherry pie to look forward to, and that kind of downs me a little bit. Uh, do you have a cool drink of water with that cherry pie? I like a cool Budweiser. Um, no, but so this this is the thing. Um, I like my cherry pies right out of the uh, refrigerator. I don't. I can eat warm cherry pie, but I like my cherry pie out of the, the actual refrigerator. And I don't know why. I know that that is bonkers bizarre. Uh, Red man, method man, showtime. Good to see you. You can't fool me, nerds. <laughs> we got you, villain. We got you, villain. Um, Danny and your fajords look larger tonight. Damn. She's my cherry pie. She is. Uh, so you're planning on basting your face during the stream? I mean, I can throw something on my face that make you happy. A uh, cool drink of water with a sweet surprise. <laughs> uh, he likes his cherry pies off the slab. I do, man. I like them. Like, I've made cherry pies in the past. You know, I've done the lattice work and all that stuff. Like, I've made it literally this piping hot, delicious cherry pie. Right in the refrigerator. That's weird, right? I, I know it's weird. It's okay to judge me on that. I, I'm fully aware that it's weird. But that's how I like it. I like it so cold that like it stays like coagulated. Like the cherry juice and all that stays in one spot. Doesn't go running everywhere. I don't know. I eat blueberry pies warm. It has to be cold. Uh, I, I, I can't eat blueberry pies warm. It has to be cold. Uh, why do you put her in the fridge before? It's, it keeps her, like, her muscles get all locked up, you know? It's, it keeps her from running. N Nerd Raid! Oh, I like that. That's awesome. A little Christmas spirit up in here. Uh, <laughs> cherry juice, lol. Lethal! Uh, it puts the butter on the skin or else it gets the fridge again. Exactly. Well, you can go get cherry pie tomorrow. Well, technically, I guess you're right. I can. It's not Thanksgiving anymore, but it's... Uh, tomorrow becomes Black Friday, which is, I guess it's a holiday, but it's like one of the worst things ever invented in the history of mankind. Like, it's awful. It's a terrible thing. Like, praise be to internet shopping, you know, just so Black Friday can stop existing. I, I hate it. I've always hated it. I've never participated in it. I've never gone out on Black Friday. I fiz Like, if there was nothing in my cupboards to eat on Black Friday, I would just starve without going out to get anything. Fuck all that. Everything. Everything about it. Waiting in line and the freezing... And I know things have changed in the past, you know, five to six years. But back when Black Friday started booming around like 2000 and stuff, when people would literally camp outside of a Walmart, like people would be going in to do shopping, but there would be a line of assholes in a tent wrapped all the way around the sidewalk waiting to get the next TV for $15 less than the dude paying next the next day price. F off! Like, all y'all. No, I can't handle it. Can't handle None of that. None of it. But no, I got a PS3 for literally $5 less than I would have paid retail. Of course I would freeze in the shivering snow. F all that. Surrounded by assholes. I know. Uh, I work 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. tomorrow. That's ridiculous. All men are born with turkey basters. Fact. Yeah, more terrible considering that GameStop announced they will have a minimum of two PS5s per store in store. Then why even bother? Black Friday is just a scam. Thank you. Motherfuckers want to fight. Uh, I'd wrestle an old woman just to get a rush. <laughs> uh, I just can't take you seriously those turkey legs wobbling around when you move. That's the point. That's the whole point behind it. I told you bitches to smile. And if you're not going to smile, I'm going to make you smile. That's the way it works. But anyway. My, my point is, I hate Black Friday. So, and I, again, online shopping, shop the hell away. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be searching Amazon for Black Friday deals. I don't have to leave the house. Literally put my hand in my pants and eat my turkey. Uh, where's my butter? 
<laughs> Damn it. Gasp. I have the sudden urge to find my turkey baster. Uh, you can pop our chairs if you want. Damn. So I, I do, uh, like, let's, let's. My ear was itching. <laughs> I can't get to my ear. Uh, so, uh, I told you about my, um, my stupid cherry pie Thanksgiving thing. So do you guys have anything that you have to have for Thanksgiving? Like it feels tradition for you to have to have. And if it's not that like cream corn or something, like if we don't have cream corn, it's not a Thanksgiving. So I'm curious if anybody has, has anything like that. Or it's just me. I must admit I've taken advantage of Black Friday here. I got Skyrim on the switch for 10 pounds. Like you're talking brand new Skyrim, like the day it launched or whatever, like it was a new, 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 new game. Or are you talking like three years later? You want to know, hang on. You want to know how I got these scars? Nerdy said he's going to make me smile one way or another. Watergate salad. What's a Watergate salad? You talking like Richard Nixon? Is there a Richard Nixon salad? Is that a Northern thing? I don't understand. I need more. What, what is a more, more information on that? I'm waiting for PS5 to be sold in stores. I can't wait. I'm not going to spend more than MSRP. <laughs> and I didn't get to make it this year. Turkey and pumpkin pie. See, that, that that's solid staples. I will not be having turkey this year. Not that it's a missing in my life. Turkey's a pain in the ass. So I'm not worried about it. But uh, turkey and pumpkin pie, that seems like staples in my my brain for a like traditional Thanksgiving. No, I bought it two and a half hours ago. <laughs> the stroke of midnight. <laughs> like, were you physically in a store and bought it? Like, you were physically there or you bought it online? Tom, uh, <laughs> you steal, you steal the said and then say, I'm not, a, you steal the salad and say, I'm not a crook before eating it. I've got the salad, and I am not a crook. <laughs> Pistachio pudding, Koo Whip, a crushed pineapple, and mini marshmallows mixed together and chilled for four hours. Why is it called Watergate salad, though? Also, no. But why is it called, what kind of pudding? Pistachio pudding. <laughs> I'm actually sorry I asked. Uh, back in the day, I camped for the launch of the PS2. Bought two and flipped one for double the cost. So ended up getting my PS2 for free. Yeah, see, Drew Mega is one of those guys I was talking about. Camping in a damn tent outside Walmart. People going inside and getting their chicken soup. Yeah, okay. Again, online shopping is fine. It's the people who did what Drew Mega did. Where they're up there, you're just like, it's so cold outside, but I'm going to get a great deal. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, stuffing and turkey gravy is a... What is that word? Tapioca? Uh, now that's a way to stuff a turkey. Yeah, Morto! Thank you for coming back, buddy. It's great to see you, man. Staple. There you go. That's a staple. Because it's green. It's very good. So Watergate is green? Am, am, I, am I to learn that? Did, did I just learn a color? Like, this wall is eggshell white. This wall is Watergate green. Really? That's a color? I've only owned a Switch for two months, for God's sake. Because it's made with a dash of scandal. <laughs> <Coo -hoo. What? laughs> I can't even say it, lethal. <clears throat> All right, <laughs> hang on. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm stuck on Watergate colors. And it's working off in my damn place. Because in my case, I did get a good deal. It's Canadian. Doesn't count. You spent Canadian fake dollars to get a PS2. Basically, you stole it. And it's Canada. They give stuff away for free. Like, hey, come on into our Target, eh, and get yourself a PlayStation 2 for free. Buy one, get one free. That's right. It's Canada deals. It's basically Costco. All right, let me try again, Lethal. Cough. <sighs> Whacking off in my damn... <laughs> Hang on, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Whacking off in my damn Black Friday line. God damn it, Bobby. Get out of the tent. <laughs> uh, it's funnier in my head. 
the weirdest line camping on Black Friday was the year a guy showed up with a giant cross and a bullhorn and started calling us sinners for being in line and preaching to us. Honestly, typically I'm not on their side, but on that one I am, Meast. On that one I am. Because that's consumerism. They don't like that. Uh, damn, I'm late again. Norville Rogers, you arrived exactly when you needed to. Would you, uh, what, what uh, Norville Rogers, you guys posted a, a Thanksgiving spread today. What, what is a Thanksgiving tradition? Like, what is a thing that you have to have on Thanksgiving to make it feel complete? And that goes again for everybody else. So the conversation hasn't deviated. I'm still curious, but they popped in and I know they posted something today. Will you stop it? It's too late to be laughing this loud, you ass. Garlic mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. I can almost taste it. Mm, Canadian. Uh, we got him laughing. I call that a win. Uh, I, 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 I simmered down now. I'm, I still don't feel great, but I simmered down. Don't be jealous of the Canadian advantage. <laughs> Get out of that damn tent and take Lady Bird home and start the propane. <laughs> the propane. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, play, like, pro PlayStation Pro, the pro play. Uh, over here on Black Friday, people literally take knives to Black Friday. They go there with the sole intent of being nasty and violent if they don't get what they want. Wow. That's messed up. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, I have to see the Rockettes perform in the Macy's Parade, but I missed that today as well. So, Lady Bells, I, I also missed the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade today, but this is my plan. Tomorrow, when doing all the festivities, you know, the cooking and the hanging out and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to play it on the television from today. I didn't get any spoilers. I don't know if Garfield fell into a building or not, but I'm going to learn tomorrow, so I'm going to watch the replay tomorrow, and I'm going to do Thanksgiving tomorrow. That is messed up, Tom. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, DMK. Uh, our family flew the other family members... Oh, sorry. Our family flew to other family members' house this year, and we said, hell, hell no, we ain't traveling this year. Meast, you're so smart. You're so smart. Uh, gotta have that P.A. Dutch filling. Stuffed got nothing on filling. Okay, so, so what's the... What is in, I guess that's Pennsylvania. What's the Pennsylvania Dutch filling? Tell, tell me tell me what's in it. And if you say that it's Watergate Green, Dan Frode's going to ban you. A spoiler, there was a parade. <laughs> yeah, it's time to do Home Alone with my turkey hat. Uh, why do you guys do it tomorrow or did I miss that? Yeah, you missed it. Uh, I had to work today, so I, did, I had... Zero Thanksgiving at all today. Zero, nothing, not a zilch. It was all work. And so I missed the parade. And like, typically I don't have to work on Thanksgiving. It just landed on my time to work. So everything's getting pushed till tomorrow. So basically everything that everybody did today, I'm doing tomorrow. So, and I'm going to do it. Man, UK really want their deals. Now, yeah, right, you listen, listen to me. You listen. I need that copy of Skyrim, right? I just got my DS. Give me the damn copy of Skyrim and I'll take my hair out and start choking a bloke with it. I'll do it. Don't make me stab you. Pokey, pokey. Sometimes it goes into Australian, but you guys get the gist. If you get a chance, watch some videos about it. UK Black Friday violence and arrest. Every year there's umpteen police arrests around the UK due to the Black Friday. That's crazy. By the way, Tom said the word of the day today. Umpteen. Ah! Uh, <laughs> aliens came and abducted Al Roker. Oops, sorry. I'm not supposed to spoil. Me, damn it. Uh, I got my bad hammer ready. Filling is like mashed potatoes, but with bread, celery, and onions in it, plus gravy on top. Delicious. That sounds absolutely amazing. Wow. But you guys don't eat turkey, do you? I thought you guys were like vegetarians to the maximum of the maximum. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, makes sense. Well, that blows, but I hope tomorrow's amazing. I mean, look, th this is this is the thing. A lot of people, and I'm not saying you guys, you guys are amazing, but a lot of people, they focus on the fact that this specific holiday has to happen on this specific day or it doesn't count. And that's not the truth. 
Like, I have had many, uh, let's say, Christmases not on Christmas that felt better than the actual day of Christmas. I've had uh, birthday parties, not for me myself, but I've went to birthday parties that don't land on people's actual physical birthday that are better than the actual physical day. Like, as long as you're doing the things that make you happy on whatever day it is, it's cool. Like, I'll be wearing this damn sweater tomorrow, you know, watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I have no spans of time in 2020. Tomorrow is going to be Thanksgiving for my dumbass. Uh, I eat meat. Hippie doesn't. So she has to watch you eat a turkey that my head has been inside of? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, I agree. Umpteen. Umpteen. Ah! Uh, in America, there's lots of Black Friday fight videos. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not wrong, Mies, but uh, I can't. There probably is, but I cannot imagine there's one where this um, somebody pulls a knife. There probably is, but I don't know. You're a poo head. Uh, oh, Lordy. What in the world? <laughs> Have another nerdy Thursday. X-Files, you know it, man. You know it, man. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? How was your uh, How was your Turkey Day, or how was the American version of Turkey Day? I once forgot about Christmas, then had it in March, and I bet it was still as spectacular. And if you're like my If you're like my neighbors, you still got the Christmas lights up. Uh, only holiday I refuse to move off the date is Halloween. Well, I mean, understandable because, okay, like Halloween is kind of like a general thing. Like you can't go trick or treating November first. You just can't. You can try it, but people are gonna look at you really, really funny. But you can do Thanksgiving. Like, well, if you, you know, you, nobody goes door to door for Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you're not wrong, but again, you could still celebrate Halloween. You could have a Halloween party, you know, November second if you wanted to. Just don't go trick or treating. By the way, Meast, if you're still going trick or treating at your age, we need to have a chat. <clears throat> Was that a growl or a fart? That was a growl. My stomach is hurting. I have not had any food today. Uh, of course, but only after your head has been removed, of course. Um, not just the sweater, the turkey as well. Well, it, it, this it's actually itching my head. Um, it wasn't the chair. <laughs> Fluffy. It's true. Uh, DMK, you still here? No, it wasn't. It was the thought. It was, <laughs> I thought it was Thanksgiving. Um... Yeah. Uh, adult versions of trick-or-treating hitting the stores on November 1st to get the Halloween candy deals. You're not wrong about that one either. Although I didn't partake in that this year either. I'm not a huge candy fan. There's a couple things that I like that, that are that are sweet tooth related. But other than that, nah. DMK, I think you got uh, I think you got messed on the, uh, the watermelon smash, dude. So I'm going to finish off the smash for you, okay? Free charge of you. Yay! I got seeds on me. That's what she said. So there you go, buddy. I don't want you to feel like you wasted 10 grand. Because typically there's always somebody to back you up with the 10 grand. But anyway, I got you covered, buddy. Don't you worry. Does Nerdy put... Wait. Does Nerdy put up yard Xmas decor? I don't. Um, many, many moons ago, I used to do a, a little bit of um, like like gutter trim, you know, like the icicle lights and stuff. I would do like that and, you know, a couple of things down the front, but I never went overboard with it. Maybe a wreath on the door. I never went super overboard with it. Um, and then just, I would say probably within the past, maybe six years or something like that. I just don't do it at all. Like it just, nah, I, I put out my Christmas pig and then I call it a day. I have a, I have a Christmas pig and it's probably, it's probably about this big. It's a wire pink pig. That has a, it's wearing like a Santa Claus outfit. And it's, you just plug it in, it lights up. I put out my Christmas pig and that's as far as I go. And that is my favorite decoration. I love it. I bought it probably 10 years ago. I think it was at Home Depot or something. And I was like, it's a, it's a Christmas pig. It's amazing. And, and I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll give you guys a, I'll give you guys a, um, a, a, a true backstory. Okay. <clears throat> when I was younger, when I was, when I was a little kid and I want to say maybe seven eight somewhere in that time right uh me and my grandmother we used to go to yard sales and we went to a yard sale around christmas time it was it was still kind of warm out it wasn't quite cold so maybe maybe it was october november but anyway and one of the yard sales they had a wooden pig okay this is it's a, it's just like a sheet of plywood it's, it's only this thick right 
and it was a pig and it had a blue bow on it. Okay, it was a white pig. I'm gonna try to dig up a picture now that I'm thinking about it. I, there's a picture somewhere. This is this is way long time ago. Um. Anyway, I, I was like, I like that pig, and I don't know why. I have, I, pff, I, I don't have no clue, but I like the pig, right? It was a white pig. It had a blue bow, and. I, we got it home and we, we put it in the yard, okay? Because it, it's a yard decoration. So we put it in the yard and then after, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever, they're like, well, we're moving this and put it in the garage. Anyway, Christmas time came and, you know, people are out there decorating. The family's out there decorating the house and stuff. And I come out with the damn pig. And I'm like, can we put the pig back up? And I'm like, okay. So... We put the pig up, you know, you gotta you gotta hammer it into the ground. It's got that, that stake that's going down Hell in there. Yeah, it's a raid. I want a raid. Let's raid. Raid Oh buddy! Homebody's lifestyle, thank you so damn much for the for the raid, baby. King Norcal, I see I see where your allegiance lies. Uh thank you so damn much, man. I appreciate the hell out of you, dude. Hopefully you had a great stream. Uh King NorCal, Lego! Uh, a contender calls the champion of Lego, right? <laughs> Good to see you. So anyway, around Christmas time, we're decorating. I come out with the damn pig, and I say, can we put the pig in the yard? And they said, yeah, sure. So we put the pig in the yard, and it sort of like became just a goofy thing. So we would put up the Christmas wreaths and the garland and all that stuff, and we would put the pig outside. Well, years and years go by, the pig sort of just disappears and gets thrown out with the stuff. So when I'm an adult and have my own house and all this stuff, and I see this damn Christmas pig on the shelf, I'm like, Christmas pig has returned in the physical form. So that's why I put out a Christmas pig, because it literally dates back a long, long time for me. Not the same one, unfortunately. I need to try to find that pig. That, somebody on Etsy's got to make it. Anyway, pig steak. Uh, as long as R. Skelly wears a Santa suit, I'm happy. And he absolutely will. Right now, he is he's just getting back from, like, um, like vacation, you know, after being you know, his ass whooped all October. It's a great story. It's a real story. And, and if I can, I'm going to try to find the picture of the pig tomorrow and maybe post it on Instagram. Uh, so only only about 25 of you will even understand why the, the, the post is there, but it'll be worth it. R. Skelly getting back from Florida. Q. <laughs> Uh, I missed some comments, and I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm finishing this bottle of wine. Bring it on, Lethal. You need to. Tom, what is that link you posted? I'm terrified. I have an excuse for trick-or-treating. Uh, do you really think seven months old is going to eat the candy? Mm, you're not wrong, but nobody said yet you had the, the baby, so it's just you out there. Uh, let's see here. Family stream. Uh, well, uh, let's see here. You should have had cranberry sauce in the watermelon for the turkey yet. <laughs> I should have, but I like, listen, it was hard enough to get this stream to start, let alone prep anything fun and gross. Although I would have. I don't even have the energy to put up Christmas stuff this year. I do it by myself every year. Nobody helps me, and I'm just tired. That's why I put out the Christmas pig. It's easy. It goes plop. It plugs right there in the outlet, and it lights up my joy. It's done and perfect. But homebody, great to see you, man. How was the stream tonight? What were you streaming? Uh, I'm way behind in chat, so I'm sorry. And of course, King Narcalian is here. Make sure you bow to the Lord, the liege. The Lord liege. Horn! Good to see you, horny cakes. How you doing, baby? How you doing, my man? Chat, we all need Xmas pig yard decorations now. And I've posted Christmas pig uh, on Instagram before. Uh, but not the original. I've never posted the original. I need, I gotta dig in some old ass photo albums to find that. Uh, now I gotta remember where the hell those photo albums are. I am now in a pickle. That's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. We're not even cooking. Uh, <clears throat> why the pig only got three legs? Well, then the pig is special. You can't eat him all at once. <laughs> Damn. That's messed up. <clears throat> that's messed up. Oh, it's that guy. Damn. I remember uh, I remember a time when I had... Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, no. Else. Thank you so much Say for the follow. Say Appreciate hallelujah. that. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Noodles. That's a green screen, by the way. Uh, I remember the time when I was little, I went to a wedding or something and I was holding a glass of water and I started to lose my grip and the second person said, cheers, and I lost my grip and the glass shattered on the floor. <laughs> that's, that's, one, that's one of your old, old memories. Uh, <clears throat> see, when I was growing up, uh, only my dad was allowed to decorate, which is fine by me. <laughs> I understand. That, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, again, 
as a kid, I wasn't helping decorate. I was probably bringing a small box of ornaments, you know, like here, here we go, let's decorate. Like I wasn't doing much, but I remember I was attached to that damn wooden pig for some reason. I don't know why, I, I still don't know why, but again, seeing it, at, I think I got it at Home Depot. Seeing it at Home Depot, I was like, Christmas pig is real again. Uh, so I'm gonna see if Etsy makes it. Uh, do you yell Mazel Tov after the glass broke? Yes, of course. <laughs> But to add insult to injury, the floor was carpet. Ah, oh, dang it. You don't even get the smash. You don't even get the cool smash with it. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're talking about uh, Thanksgiving traditions and um, apparently holiday traditions. Because So th this is something else. And, and I am a huge stickler for this, okay? Like, this is a real thing to me. When I was growing up, Christmas didn't start until after Thanksgiving. And it's still like that now. I do not celebrate Christmas bef before Thanksgiving at all. And part of me hates people that do. Just a little spot. This is a small hate. This is a small hate. You know, it's, it's like, come on. Let the seasons have their own seasons. You know what I mean? So, and, and we've talked about this before. This isn't new information. But it, it, like, nothing Christmassy happens anywhere near my house Till after Thanksgiving. And, and before you get into that, no, right, but you had the Christmas tree that you jumped into when you were the elf. Doesn't count. That's for streaming purposes. I will do anything for comedy. Obviously. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that months have their own holidays. Yeah, yeah, that's just me. Uh, but anyway, so my, my point is, is that, like, I guess technically Christmas can begin tomorrow. Friday and Tom, Tom's already, you know, getting Black Friday deal. So it's already technically could be them. So Christmas season technically starts on Black Friday in my brain. So it's okay to talk about Christmas time and things like that. We're close enough. October, Halloween, November, Thanksgiving, December, Christmas. Yeah. And it's very difficult to get that through people's heads. You know how weird it is to have Thanksgiving dinner and there's a Christmas tree behind you. That's weird. That's weird. It's like, is this Christmas dinner? Did I time travel? I don't understand what's going on. Why can't you just stick with the seasons? Talking to a lot of my family. Uh, next year, we jump off a ladder on a turkey. You got to remind me. Uh, same. I had a fight hippie about the tree not going up till at least the day after Thanksgiving last year. I lost. <laughs> this year, I won. It's just, I mean... Why? Nobody can give me an absolute good reason as to why you have to put up the Christmas tree before Thanksgiving. Nobody can. De Christmas at the end of fucking December. Why do you have to have a Christmas tree for two months? It's gaudy. It takes up a spot where you could actually have some real furniture. Nobody has room for a Christmas tree. You have to move crap in order to put a Christmas tree there. Believe me, I had one behind me a month ago. I know. It's a pain in the ass. Christmas is a pain in the ass to decorate for. That nobody can give me a real reason as to why you have to do it for two months. Nobody. I don't have any Thanksgiving stories. It can be, well, Horn, you don't count. <laughs> uh, uh, Horn, <laughs> do you have... Um, uh, there's got to be like kangaroo day or something over there. Come on. What is a holiday where you get with your family and eat something? Come on, Horn. Help us out. Teach us something. Because Christmas is the best and a lot of work for dad. <laughs> no, dad has to do a lot of work in order to afford Christmas for you ingrates. <laughs> there's got to be something you do, Horn. Come on. Kangaroo cook day. Come on. Got to be something. Got to be something. <clears throat> we decorate our house mid-November. I'm still saying there's no reason, uh, but our Thanksgiving is yeah okay. Well yeah, Canadian doesn't count. Canadian, doesn't, you guys, you guys play, pay with your merchandise with fake money. Doesn't count. It's a little different, a little different. Yeah, you guys have Thanksgiving uh, October, which I meant to to celebrate this year, but I got really messed up with the damn costumes. Uh, anyway, when I got married, we did the toss all the bachelors. <clears throat> the toss to all the bachelors, but I wrapped the thing around a football to toss it. When we took the photo with the catcher, I did the Heisman pose, knock a drink out of the guy next to me's hand. The photographer got the facial expression as he fell, as he has his drink fell and shattered on the floor. Next time, send me a voicemail. 
Uh, <laughs> Hippie says she likes the way it looks and the lights it puts off. Then why not leave it up year round? <laughs> when Nerdy rants, the legs move a lot. <laughs> Kangaroo Day. <laughs> we should make International Turtle Day. <laughs> okay, I love this guy. <laughs> cool. I'm oh, just saying. Just again. I don't care what you do in your own house. It doesn't bother me. Like, personally, it doesn't bother me. I just, I don't understand it. There's a lot of things I don't understand. I just don't understand why you have to rush holidays, especially one that retailers start in August. Just, and that's the part. It, it, like, I don't, I don't hate the people that put up the Christmas tree. I hate the fact that Walmart and Home Depot and those asshole places start putting up Christmas decorations before Halloween decorations. Like, literally, it's like, here is a skeleton riding a motorcycle with flames coming out of its asshole. And here is Santa coming out of a chimney off of an inflatable ass snowman. Why? Why can't we just have one and then have the other? Who is literally going, well, honey, I got to go and buy the Halloween decorations so we can decorate for Halloween so we can give out the candy to trick-or-treaters. No, 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 no. Is that a Santa Claus with a motorcycle hat? Son of, I got to get it. I got to get If I don't get it now, I'll, and I can put it up now, it could be a Halloween. We can do a Halloween Christmas. What? Who's that for? Who is just literally having to shop for Christmas and Halloween time? Oh, so angry. Please leave a long message after the beep. Exactly. We had it up till mid-February last year. Well, at least you're trying to get the full roundabout. Uh, corporate are some greedy some bitches. And the thing is, they wouldn't be if people didn't buy it. That's the problem. It, you can blame corporate, but the reason they keep doing it is because assholes still keep buying it. we got to have Christmas ornaments. We haven't even had turkey yet. Uh, they care more about making money. Uh, virgin alert, but I dig it. What's going on, Uncle Eeyore? Well, I suppose I'm going to take your advice. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for your follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uncle Eeyore, good to see you. Appreciate that follow, man. Uh, let's see here. Um, this year was crazy. Halloween decorations were up for like three days before Christmas decorations went up at store. Yeah, I know. It's like I speak truths or something. Uh, you're joking, but that's literally what happens. That's why retailers do it. Their analysts show people are buying early on. I'm uh, uh, Look, because I say it with a stupid southern accent and project it like I'm on the stage at the you know, some weird theater, doesn't mean there's any less truth to it. There's a lot of truth in what I say. I just like to do it with an animated style and a turkey on my head. Uh, but Uncle Eeyore, thank you very much for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, hopefully you're uh, you're enjoying your turkey day. And if you're not from this country, hopefully you're enjoying your Thursday. <laughs> I didn't know what day it was. I've literally had a terrible ass week. It's been a long, long week. I just... Uh, um. Around your head, not on. No, it's it's on. It's it's on. It's on my head. This this is this is a full 360 ass turkey. I'm basically monicum for friends. Need to put some sunglasses on. Friday, damn it, horn, horn. What what is your holiday, by the way? What what is your? I mean, do you guys like eat eat koala or something? Come on, give me something. It's surrounding. <laughs> I am surrounded by turkey. <laughs> If I would have thought better, it would have been cool to like throw butter on my head or something. Uh, just got to work out where you live now and rob all your cool... That's a green screen. That's just a green screen back there. <laughs> Sunglasses and a fez. I do not own a fez. I have... Well, it's not really a fez, though. Hang on. I have this, which is kind of fezzy. It, it's, it's kind of like a fez. Uh, need some stuffing where the ears are. <laughs> you know, I actually, somewhere, I think I packed them away, but I did have huge red sunglasses. Say Damn it. Say uh, Say fezzes are cool. Hallelujah. Thank you, Meast. Australia Say Day or Christmas Say Day? That's it. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happens on Australia Day? 
I want to celebrate Australia Day. <gasps> when is it? Dirty South, where have you been? Fez or Fizz? It's a Fez. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey Boy. Moneymaker254. Who was just right here? That's Moneymaker254. That is, see, I have so many bit alerts. I have like 65 bit alerts and so many different ones for all the alerts. But I only have one follow alert, and that is Moneymaker254 right there. That is my only follow alert. And until he sues me for copyright infringement, it will always be my follow alert. How's it going, Nerd Effect? What's going on, Donovan? Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Okay, you've never watched a full movie because you've blinked. Prove me wrong. Uh, well, there, that, there was that one time. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Lego, I like the way you're thinking. Is that a drummer? <laughs> yes, it is. I, I don't remember why I bought this hat. I bought it for a costume, I want to say last year. It had to have been. It had to have been last October, but I don't remember why. I don't remember why I bought it. I want to know what happens on that one. January twenty eighth, barbecue and drinks, then fireworks at night. Okay, so is that like your Independence Day? Is that Australia Day? Um, speaking of Fez, I recently learned that Fez from the nineteen seventy show is actually Fez and not his name. It stands for the region foreign exchange student. Yeah, it's Fez. Fez. Looks like a Nutcracker hat. Girl, don't tr don't treat me to a good time. Uh, glad I can make it to the stream, my dude. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Discord. There's a Discord somewhere. Listen, my stream is half broke today. I'm lucky the alerts are working. Uh, oh, will you dress up like a Nutcracker at Christmas? No, unfortunately, unfortunately, I already have my Christmas outfit planned, and uh, I cannot deviate. Typically, I have my Christmas stuff uh, usually planned for the streaming. Uh, like last year, I had that velvet suit. And this year, I've got something even better. I'm addicted to Shark Tank. Random, I know. Very random. Um, are you are you thinking of submitting like a moneymaker deal or something? Yeah, that uh, yeah that episode he said his full name, but there was too much noise to hear it. it. Actually, said all the characters' names in the cast. Wait, what did me say? Oh, oh, you're talking about that '70s show. Ah, darn it! What? Nerdy cracking nuts at Christmas. <laughs> uh, so you Christmas shopped early. Well, okay. So sometimes when you're when you're out and about, you see something that you know is going to work so well for a show that you just like literally have to buy it right then. So yeah, I have it. It's in my closet. It's ready to go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I need I need to celebrate Australia Day. So you said barbecue. What do you barbecue? Say kangaroo. Say kangaroo. Say kangaroo. Say kangaroo. Say kangaroo. Say kangaroo. Uh, are we getting a rocket routine with R. Skelly tonight? I'm interested in how much the turkey shake as nerdy does high kicks. Well, <clears throat> the answer is no. Koala! The answer is no, unless somebody actually uses their points to make me do something to R. Skelly. Which, in that case, a wrestling move could particular could could be a rocket move. It could, but I don't know. Put a dingo on the barbie. Duh. I'm assuming Australia Day is a lot like Fourth of July or Canada Day. That was that was what I was picking up, uh, but I just all Australian animals. Oh no, raw! I can't wait. Pass the magpie. Mmm, extra crispy. Uh, Heavy D, thank you so much for coming back, buddy. I appreciate you, man. And uh, I cannot believe that I almost got a full hour show tonight. That was supposed to be done. I'm not kidding you. By six o'clock. Yeah, it's been that kind of a day. And my hair is falling out. Not literally, just out my turkey head. <laughs> That's funny. Just subscribe to your YouTube and follow your Instagram. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Um, extremely giant spiders crunch when you cook them. Mm. Yes, thank God nobody has the money to make me eat a bug tonight. I, I appreciate that. We have yet to do that. We have yet to do that. It's, it's a lot of points. It's a lot of points to save up to do that. Uh, but definitely would have to eat a bug on Australia Day. Most definitely. <clears throat> so, uh, I, I guess we're, we're, we are getting close to the end. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> no! 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 Somebody ban Lady Bells. <laughs> 
That is what I get for talking. Mm -mm. Well, I got to look at Killer Cutie's art, and uh, then I got to end the show. I don't know if we even got time to do all that. <laughs> Roasted. That is fantastic, Killer Cutie. W once again, you do uh, superior work, and I don't know how you do it. You do it You do it good, and you do it quick. It's just like, it's perfect. It's amazing. Thank you very much. God. D Lady Bell's... I might break something, but I've got to try. I've got to try here. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> ah, oh my God, I had a tablet on full volume. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Blame Lady Bells. I will say when he said, I immediately went and looked to see how much it cost. <sighs> Damn it. So for anybody new here, these are bugs. Oh boy, and they smell so delicious. Thank God we're keeping them preserved with that salt packet. Well, that stinks. All right, Lady Bell. So, what am I eating? There, there's your choices. What am I eating? Oh, and, and thank the heavens they're salted. <laughs> Grasshopper. Yeah, I, I appreciate something with legs that gets stuck in my teeth. I think that's the grasshopper. Now I gotta look. No, that's the other thing. Hang on. Get back in the bag. All right. They're a little different when they're all dried, you know. That looks like a praying mantis. I should probably separate these. It would be a lot quicker. Ah, oh, there's the grasshopper right there. Come here. Come here, you fucker. All right. <clears throat> there you go. There is your grasshopper. Mm -mm. Doesn't that look delicious, y'all? <clears throat> Boy, ah, mmm, ah, I feel just like Steve Irwin. Grok is delicious. It's in my teeth. Mmm, -mm. but if you can eat de de deodorant, you can eat a bug. Nice and crunchy. Muted. N no, no way. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Unmuted. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man. <clears throat> uh waiter, there's soup in my bugs. Well, you shouldn't have said anything. I don't use my points very often, so I got a bit saved. Turkeys eat grasshoppers. We learned something. Uh I think that there's a first time I heard anybody say, thank heavens it's salted when putting something in their mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is sick. Jiminy Cricket. No, 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 no. Uh, get that protein. Yeah, it looks more like cricket than a grasshopper. I, I, I chose the best one that I could, that I thought was was it. Uh, you need to wash that down with some iron brew. You're not wrong. Uh, wash it down with some nut butter. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. That that's that's how you wash it down properly with some nut butter. Mmm. Thank God I'm having Thanksgiving. Oh, why is it sour? <coughs> oh, damn you and your ideas. True Mega or Alien Vodka. I can't, I can't drink, I can't drink alcohol tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 I would, I, I would, I would seriously go and do it, but I, I cannot do it right now. Uh, you should wash it down with an unbranded soda. <laughs> The only one I technically have is Peach Knee High, and I was saving it for Fatality, so I really, I can't, I can't really drink that one. Uh, hee hee, double clipped, nerdy round table? Wait, what? What about it? What's going on? Tell me about stuff. I should have always had that out. That looks amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Ta-da! Turkey time. Uh, those always get stuck in my teeth. Those legs, the part of the legs that stick around, they always get stuck. Ah. Anyway, well, I think I think getting an hour show on Turkey Day is perfect. Uh, it's what I wanted, but I wanted it two and a half hours ago. Uh, so let's do this. We haven't done it in a while because you know things and stuff. But what did you guys learn today? <coughs> Uh, I might go make a turkey sandwich. That's like finding your mom's hair in the turkey stuffing. Ew. <laughs> it's a full three-course meal. <laughs> Thank you, Listy. Thank you. Mm -mm. Yeah, so what'd you guys learn today on this hour show that, that had a 30-minute part where I rage that's been deleted? So if you weren't here, you didn't get to hear me rage. I learned that you love bugs. Well, I mean, I love it if they're salted. You know what I mean? They, they've got to be salted. they got to be salted. Uh, I learned about the Christmas pig. And I'm going to try to find a picture of that. I know that there's a picture somewhere. i got to try to find it. I learned that I don't count on Thanksgiving Say Day. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. What the hell was that? It said prediction started. Win channel points if you make the correct prediction. What the hell is that? There's something new in my stream I didn't put on there. <laughs> that seems like lethal. That seems like a lethal thing. Uh, I learned that I don't count on Thanksgiving. You count to me, Horn. See, Horn, here in America, we say what we're thankful for. Thankful Thor. Th thankful Thor? Damn it, Theo. <clears throat> what we're thankful for and i'm thankful for horn being my friend see i'm glad you're here and you do count and then i've been up way too damn long since 4 a.m yes you have go to sleep go to sleep i learned that the floor maybe <laughs> i learned that the floor is made of floor and carpet sometimes especially when you're dropping a drink everyone in chat can vote at the end of the stream you choose the outcome and the people who bet win points based off they bet okay I mean, am I allowed to look at the details? Let's see here. Um, uh, nope. <laughs> how do I how do I award them? Oh my god! I just noticed. What'd you notice? Uh, you can see who bets and how much. Okay, but how do I award the points, or 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 do you do you do it since you created it? I need to know more about this. Some of the nerdy art, uh, the images of the nerdy o redemption. Girl, it's like I like it. Uh, what can I bet on? It's up there. It's up there at the top of the chat. Um, I learned that you washed down a dead bug with nutter butter. <laughs> it's automatic. Well, how does it know if I do it, though? I saw if, it, if I rant on something. 
but but how would it know if I rant? Is it monitoring me? Is it Google? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't I understand. Twenty side sheep versus zero side sheep. We're all new to this. Listen, we're all a bunch of like invalids. You got to teach us stuff. No, you choose the outcome. So if you rant, then you say that you did it. So you click it. It's gone. I'm gonna cry. Uh, I'm on. A, <laughs> I'm hormonal, so don't judge me. Uh, no, no, I I want to use as much of the art as possible. How do I vote? No, it's still there. Where? It's not on my end. <laughs> Not on my end. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm so sad. Do I click this? Ah, get started. Okay, prediction submission. Uh, will Nerdy rant? Okay, will Nerdy rant before he ends the stream? Submission is closed. Prediction started three minutes ago. So, so how do I? How do I say yes or no to it? I guess that's my question. How do I say if I did it? You have 24 hours to choose the outcome. I cried because the voice actor of Princess from WoW walked on a stage. <laughs> Type prediction in chat. That's a lot of work. Why are, you, why are you making me do work? Damn it, Lethal. Seriously. Seriously. Like, ser like, come on. I just want to get on here and I want to do my damn show. And if I want to do a crazy ass poll, then I'll do a crazy ass poll. But I don't know how to do the crazy ass polls, all right? So all you're going to do is watch my damn silly turkey legs bounce back and forth, make a time the game freak giggle in his damn London flat, all right? So I don't want to have to do extra damn work, all right? It's too much work. I got to type in exclamation point backslash and all this other stuff. Are you serious? And it's on Thanksgiving! <laughs> um but put them together oh it's closed i can't vote anymore that's why i did it <laughs> i learned that perry the platypus from phineas and ferb is actually had a voice actor yeah um uh he is uh crap and I, I used to know he, he does a lot of crap he's he is a big time voice actor uh, rant, 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 rant. <laughs> Look at them little legs just going. <laughs> Nerdy ran it, so Lady Bells won. 20 side sheep. Uh, he is crap. You heard it. He is crap. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Yeah, anybody who did that got it right. Let's see, what's going on out there? What's going on out there in streamy land? Let's do it this way. Hallelujah. Holy shit. Where's the town all? Well, I already did. already did a quote. already did the quote from that today. So. <clears throat> I can help you out with that anytime. Just want, no, I appreciate it, which is funny. Um, Bells and I are tech savvy. We figured it out. Yeah. Bells and Bells and Drew Mega and Dan Fro, they all helped fix my chat earlier. So it's, it's all on them. A hundred percent. All right, so I got my hour stream in. I feel accomplished. I did. This is my first ever Thanksgiving show. This is my first show ever done on the actual day of Thanksgiving, and truly because I had to work today and I couldn't actually celebrate Thanksgiving in the normal traditional sense. So, I mean, you know, you 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 make the best you can, and in 2020, we're all making the best that we can. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, I appreciate everybody stopping in tonight, and uh, I know that everybody had a lot to do today, even if you're horn and, you know, not celebrating American Thanksgiving and waiting for fireworks and barbecued um, koala bears. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping in, taking time away. And again, I know it's a little different this year because COVID keeps everybody, for the most part, away from their families and the huge gatherings and the stuff that is normally cemented with their own traditional Thanksgiving. So I appreciate you taking time. And uh, hopefully my tiny little turkey legs got you a little smiling tonight. And uh, you definitely got me feeling a little bit better because I was definitely feeling down for those two and a half hours trying to make this thing start. Uh, so I appreciate everybody again uh, stopping in tonight. I will see you guys Monday. Uh, we're going to do a show Monday. 
Uh, thanks for the awesome stream. Uh, thank you for the stream, Nerdy. Good game, friends, and happy Thanksgiving. I'm glad I got the turkey head drawing in before the end of the stream. You did fantastic. I don't know what I did for you, but you're welcome. Quit moving those legs. You're interfering with the reception. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be back Monday. Monday will be the stream. And um, two things on Monday. We're going to do a live show on Monday. I have a birthday present from Red Walrus. We're going to open that on Monday. And then we're going to try to do a little bit of wrestling on Monday as well. So it's going to be a, a probably about a three-hour action-packed stream on Monday. And then from there, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Uh, make sure you guys check out King Norcalian uh, this Saturday, which is two days from now, because time and stuff. The round table will be back, and who knows? I might show up. <laughs> anyway, all that being said, have a great rest of your Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll see you very soon. Take care of each other. Be well and gobble, 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 gobble. Follow the host. Wrong button. Nerdy effect. It's the nerdy effect. 7.0. 2.0. 6.0, y'all. 4.0, oh, dale. 6.0. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nerdy effect. Seven point oh. Nerdy effect. Seven point oh.